next step is create add account rest api so before creating the rest api let us first create the service layer well the controller layer is depends on service layer so let us first create add account method in a service layer and then we will create the rest api and that, that rest api will internally call the service method so here go to service package right click on it new and then choose java class and let us give i mean let us select interface and let us give interface name as account service okay next let us define the method over here so let us say account and then create account and let us pass account well we can also use a DTO to transfer the data between client and server okay so what we will do we will use the DTO so let's create a new package for it and let's do package name as DTO and here let us create a class and let us give class name as account DTO and here let us type the field private long id and then private string account holder name and then private string let us go double and then balance all right and here let us use at data lumbar connotation to automatically generate constructors getter setter methods next let's go back to account service interface and here instead of account jp entity let us use account dto so here also let us pass account dto okay perfect and let's view the name as account dto and let's remove this unusual import okay perfect next go to service package and let's create one new package let's call it as impl impl stands for implementation so all the implementation classes we keep under this impl package so right click on this package new and then choose java class let's use class name as account service impl so this is the naming convention next this class implements account service interface and implement its methods so here just move on this class click on this implement methods select the method that you want to implement click on ok perfect next let us annotate this class with add service annotation to automatically create a spring bean for this class next let us inject the dependency so here let us first declare the field private account uh, repository account repository next let us use a constructor based you know dependency injection to inject this account repository dependency so here right click and then generate and then constructor and select the dependency click on ok all right next here we can annotate this constructor with at auto annotation to automatically inject the dependency but spring you know 4.3 onwards we can ignore this at auto annotation because whenever spring will find the single constructor in a spring bean then spring will automatically inject the dependency okay perfect Next, go to create account method over here and within this method, we need to convert account DTO into account JP entity and then we'll save that account JP entity into a database. So this is the conversion logic, right? So let us create one mapper class and let us, you know, write the common logic like we can convert a DTO into JP entity and JP entity into DTO. So here go to DTO package or else let's create one more package. And let's call it as mapper next within a mapper package let's create a new class let's call it as account mapper so within account mapper class let's create static method public static and let us give the return type account and let us give method name as map to account and let us pass account DTO as a parameter perfect next let us convert this account DTO into account so here let us create the object account and then account equal to new account next 
let us pass the details to the constructor account dto dot get id and then account dto dot get account holder name and then account dto dot get balance and then finally I return the account object now we have converted account dto into account jp entity similarly let us write one more static method to convert account jp entity into account dto so here just type public and then static and then return type as account dto let's give method name as map to account dto and let us pass account jp entity perfect next let us create account dto object over here all right and let us pass values to the constructor like account dot get id and then account dot get account holder name and then account dot get balance and then finally return this account dto well let us see what is the compilation error over here it says the parameters constructor is not available in account dto so go to account dto over here so this at data annotation don't provide the constructor so here let us use at our argument constructor annotation okay let's go back to mapper class and there we go all right now we have created a mapper class to map dto into entity and vice versa next let us use this account mapper class in a service classes so go to account service ampl class over here and go to create account method and here let's create a object of account and then account and then let us call account mapper over here account mapper and then it has map to account method and then pass account dto next let us call account repository over here and then it has save method so let us call save method to save the account jp entity and then pass account jp entity object to this save method so this save method basically return the saved entity so here let us introduce a local variable of type account and let's give variable name as saved account okay perfect and if you look at the create account method return type account dto so let us convert saved account into account dto so here let us remove this null and then call account mapper and then map to account dto and then pass saved account okay perfect now we have created create account method it will call the account repository to save the account you know into the database next let us create the rest api and then that rest api will internally call this method so go to controller package over here right click on it new and then choose java class let us give class name as account controller let us annotate this account controller class with at rest controller annotation so this at rest controller annotation will make this class as a spring muc rest controller class next let us annotate this class with at request mapping annotation and let us pass the base url over here let us say slash api slash accounts okay so this is basically a base url for all the rest api that we are going to define within this account controller class okay great next let us inject the dependency for that let us first define the field that is private account service account service next let us use a constructor based dependency injection to inject this account service dependency so here right click generate and then constructor and then click on okay now we have injected account service using constructor based dependency injection and here again we don't have to use at at all annotation because this class has only one constructor so spring will automatically inject the dependency next here let's create a add account rest api well creating a rest api using spring boot is very simple first we need to create a method and then we'll make that method as a rest api by using spring annotation okay all right so just type public and then let us use response entity as a return type 
and this is generic so we can pass account dto as a type let's give method name as add account and then pass account dto as a parameter to this method all right perfect next let us have a return statement over here return new response entity and then call account service dot create account and then pass account dto next let us pass the http status that is created http status created perfect now we have created add account method it will you know call account service dot create account method and this create account method basically return the saved account so this is the first argument second argument is http status okay perfect next let us make this method as a rest api by using spring annotation so in this case this method have to handle the http post request for that let us use at post mapping annotation next here let us use one more annotation that is at request body annotation so this at request body annotation will you know map the request body to this java object so request body basically contains json so this at request body will automatically convert that json into this java object okay perfect next let us go ahead and let us run our spring boot application and let us test this add account rest api so from here i am going to stop the running application first and i am going to run the application again and notice here our spring boot application is up and running in a emulator tomcat server on port 8080 next let us open the postman rest client and here let's create one new request and here let us choose http post method and just type the request url http localhost 8080 slash api slash accounts okay so if you go to project again and if you go to account controller the url is slash api slash accounts so this is the url we are using over here slash api slash accounts okay next go to body and then select raw select content type as a json and here we need to pass json in the request body so let us quickly create the json object so if you go to project again and if you go to account dto so this account dto has field account holder name and balance so these fields we have to use in a json so let me copy this field name and let me paste it over here and then let's give holder name in my case ramesh next balance let us say 10000 okay next go ahead and click on send button and there we go we got the response you know from the server and if you look at the id here one so this id we are getting from the database and look at the status 201 created let us verify in the database so go to my scroll bench go to accounts table select rows and you can see the account is you know successfully stored in a accounts table okay perfect now we have successfully built add account rest api 